Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Liberty Lady Liz here. I'm not going to do my intro. But thanks for 35 subs. I will, a little bit. Thanks for 35 subscribers. Please get me to 1K subscribers. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. That's all I'm going to say. Today is a very special day. It's October 8th, 2022. It is my mother's 49th birthday. Um, yes. It's her birthday. Um... What we're doing this morning is because I'm working at 3 today. I'm working 3 to 6.15. I'm working for 3 hours and 15 minutes today. We, um, we're going out to breakfast with my grandparents. Um, but yeah, we're going out to breakfast. Um, we're going to do presents and stuff. And it's just a nice way to celebrate her birthday before I have to work today. So we're going to do that. Um, I have her present all ready. It's not wrapped. I got it from CVS, but yes. Um, and no, it's not medicine in case you guys are wondering. And this is why I have on a nice dress and, um, I have this, sorry about my voice. My voice should get better within a couple days. I have this Liz necklace that was personal, that my mother had personalized for Christmas last year. So yeah, so I'm wearing my Liz necklace and a pink dress to breakfast. Um, normally I don't get dressed up to go to breakfast because it's not such a big deal. But this place is a little nice. You need to get, look nice to have to eat there. So it's called the local kitchen. I've never been there. And it's a town over from my private school, the school where I go now for high school. So just in case you're wondering, my school does not have a uniform. It's just nice. Um... Yeah, so we're breakfast. The reservation my grandmother made. I'm gonna see Bill for my grandparents. Breakfast is at 11:30, and we're um we have to leave at 10:45, and it's 10:26 right now. I will vlog in the car, but yeah. So um, this is. Her present. I made her this out of a Starbucks leaf from my matcha latte. I got her, and mom, you'll already see this after you get your presents. I got her this. It's a um, soy blend, blend scented candle, maple wood trail, and it's three ounces. And I got her her favorite candy, Butterfinger. So that's what I got her for her birthday this year. I also did make her something in um, one of my school enrichments, which is a non-academic class. Just a time where you can have breakfast or snack and hang out with your friends and, like, do some fun activities. So, yeah. So that's what I got her. Um, and then I am also wearing these nice sparkly shoes to, well, they're not. They're not white anymore, they're just... But yeah, I'm wearing those nice sparkly sneakers to dinner. And then I also have to wear my work uniform to work later on today. But I don't have to work for several more hours today, so I've, I'm good. Um, but yeah, so I just want to say, happy birthday, Mom. I really love you. Hope you have a nice 49th birthday. Next year, we both have big lunch. Next year, she'll, she'll have her 50th, and I'll have my sweet 16th birthday. So, wait, my, 16th, my sweet 16th birthday is... In March, so it's it's October, November, December, January, February, March. So I have six months until my birthday happens. But, um, yeah. So that's that's what we're doing today. Um, tomorrow is just my mother has to work, so I'll be home alone. But I will. This, I'm not going to post this video today. I'm going to post it tomorrow. Um, because I post every... But this will be filmed today. And it filmed on her birthday and posted the day after. Um, yeah. So that's what we're doing. And I'll see you guys in the car. I meant this necklace got personalized by my grandmother for um, Christmas. This was my what my grandmother gave me and my cousins. Our names. Yeah. 
So it was personalized by my grandmother, not my mother. All right, guys. So we just got out of lunch or brunch. It was good. My grandparents both had avocado toast. My mother had a breakfast sandwich with tater tot or no home fries. Home fries, and I had French toast. My mother and I, we both had dessert, which we don't have dessert after breakfast. I had chocolate ice cream. She had acai ice cream which also I eat is a Brazilian like seed that like it turns into a fruit or something I don't know and then she had her presents and she got a book and an air fryer and then my mother just finished this up or not my mother my grandmother just That's finished this up it's David McCullough the Wright brothers and I'm gonna read you the description it says on a winter day in 1903 on the remote Outer Banks of North Carolina, where my cousins live, two unknown brothers from Ohio changed history. Well, not the Outer Banks, but they live in North Carolina. Um, the age of flight had begun with the first heavier-than-air-powered machine carrying a pilot, far more than a couple of Dayton bicycle mechanics who happened to hit on success. Wilbur and Orville Wright were men of exceptional ability, unyielding determination, and far-ranging intellectual interest and curiosity. Two-time Pulitzer Prize winner David McCullough tells a dramatic story of how these courageous brothers taught the world how to fly, and their devoted sister Catherine played a far more important role than has been generally Jesus. understood. I didn't know they had a sister, but something you learn something new every day. And um, so yeah, so I'm asking for David McCullough books for Christmas. But yeah. Yes, but, um, yeah, so we're in the car right now, and yeah, 